Allie. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make a roasted zucchini and cherry tomatoes with a Parmesan crust. Woo! Oh, can't wait. Here's what you'll need. You'll need some cherry tomatoes, some fresh zucchini, some fresh garlic, salt and pepper, extra virgin olive oil, and of course, Parmesan cheese. Oh, I can't tell you how excited I am to show you this. It's so delicious. First thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 425. And also put in a nonstick baking sheet so you can start preheating so everything can start to caramelize and cook as soon as they heat the, um, the baking dish. Here's what you want to do. You want to cut the zucchini like that, nice and chunky. There we go. This side dish is so amazing. And you can do this with any vegetable. You can do this with green beans, broccoli. You know, asparagus, cauliflower, you name it. But this is my favorite combination. So, here we go. When you put the Parmesan all over the top of the veggies, it forms almost like a crust, a Parmesan crust. And I cannot tell you how good it is. I, oh my gosh. Oh my God. If you kids don't like vegetables, cover them with Parmesan cheese, stick them in the oven, and then let me know what they think. Because I guarantee you they're going to love it. Okay. So, here's your parm here's your um zucchini. I'm gonna put in one more. I love this. And I love the leftovers. I take any leftovers of this and put them in between um pieces of bread for a really nice veggie sandwich or over um scrambled eggs or in an omelet or over egg whites. Ah, so good, so good. I've only gone with three zucchinis in this one because they're really big. So now I'm going to put in some cherry tomatoes. I'm not cutting them. I'm putting them whole because they're going to get roasted but not overly done. So they're still going to be whole. So when you pop them in your mouth, the other juice is squeezed right out. Oh, so good. So good. And I'm going to put in my garlic, giving it a rough chop. There we go. Nothing too fine. That's my oven telling me it's ready. Want my garlic not to be too small, or else it will burn. Okay. Let's season it. Salt. Pepper. If you don't have Parmesan, you can substitute another um, cheat like that, like maybe a pecorino. Um, or even you could do some feta. Oh, even some feta over the top would be lovely. Oh, so good. I think anything but cheese baked in the oven is just, just about perfect. So we have our tomatoes and then we have our zucchini and the garlic and the seasoning all in. So now I'm going to take my clean hand and give it just, a, just a really gentle toss. There we go. My oven's nice and hot. I'm going to wash my hands and get my baking sheet. Baking sheet, it's nice and hot. We're gonna add in our vegetables. You hear that? That's exactly what you wanna hear. That just means that the baking sheet was ready for you. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. Now, for the best part, in my hands. Make sure everything is on one layer so everything Roasted instead of steaming. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take your microplane and a big block of Parmesan. If you don't have a whole block of Parmesan, you can just buy the grated one. Or if you have the grated one on hand, just use that. And I'm just going to do this until all my vegetables are covered. Does that not look amazing or what? Look at that. You just know this is gonna be perfect. Red, white, and green, like the Italian flag, you guys. Check it out. You know something's gonna be good when it looks good before it's even cooked. There we go. Cover it with the Parmesan. Here we go. And we're going to pop this into the oven for 25, 15 to 20 minutes. Go. Here 
here we go. My veggies are perfect. Now I turned the broiler on for the last, I would say, two minutes. Look at that. They're covered in cheese and it's so good. I'm so excited about this. If you don't think you like vegetables, please try this recipe. I guarantee you will change your mind in a heartbeat. You don't have to turn your broiler on, but I just wanted to make sure mine was getting nice and brown at the top. You know, uh, ovens vary in all different kinds. You know, some get hotter, hotter than others at the same temperature. So just keep an eye on them. Here we go. All on the platter. Now here's what you do. You take a big bunch of basil. You put it right over the top. Look at that. I mean, that is amazing. I mean, I can't, I, I can't tell you enough and how delicious this is. Serve this with a brujol. I mean, for a perfect meal. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Serve this with your brujol. Serve it by itself. Just please make this. To get this recipe and other recipes, visit my website at www.learnthekitchen.com and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.